Good to everybody. I've got this smart lock here for an unboxing and review. Nice Digi is the name of it. Nice Digi bring nice life. Awesome. Let's check this thing out. Here's everything that came in the box. Got all the pieces necessary for a door handle here. Got the innards here. Drill template. Got the uh, owner's manual here. Some keys. Here's the lock mechanism itself. some fasteners, spare screws, some here as well. All right. Hey, this is where the new one's gonna go, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this old one off. All right, to install this thing, so the first thing you wanna do is pull this off, so it just kinda of pops out of there real easy. Some little tabs on there that fit down into there. But this is the mounting plate, so we need to be able to get access to the mounting plate so we can screw this in. So you just flip it over, pop it out, and this is what we'll be installing because what we're going to do is run we're going to run this through and it's going to plug in right in there okay i'm going to go ahead and install this here with the top towards the top I'll pop that in there and then screw it down with these yep that cord just goes down below there and this is going to fit right through there Be able to turn it once you get it in there, but it just goes in just like that. There we go. We'll have to do a little touch up around here with some black. And here's what we have on the other side. Like I said, we just thread it through the bottom there. I'll go ahead and put them screws through it. Here's the two screws that we're going to put through it. Okay, so I got those two screws installed now. Well, before you put this on, don't forget to install this gasket on the back side here. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to pop these out, pop that back in there, and then put this back on to arrive back at the same step. So don't forget that. There we go. Now it's reinstalled with the gasket on it. Now we can go ahead and plug in our electrical connection right down there. There we go. Now we'll go ahead and fit this thing up like that. Okay, now after you get it up in place like this, I'm still kind of holding it here, but you're gonna wanna pop this battery cover off, just slide it up like that. There's a couple fasteners that go through right here to, to hold this thing in. Okay, to secure this to this, we're gonna need three of these, these small little guys here. You can kind of see it, I got one in right there, so I'm gonna put the other one right here where that hole is. See, I've got the two in. I'm actually gonna put the third one down there. Now we'll go ahead and put our four AA batteries in there. I almost caught it on camera, but as soon as I put those batteries in, this thing automatically went out like that. Now we'll go ahead and put that back on there. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and install the nice Digi app. All right, so I've signed up and logged into my account on the nice Digi app. Now what I'm gonna do is uh, go ahead and uh, reset Push the reset button here. Open that up and press the reset button. Push this in. So now I'm gonna go ahead and pair the lock with the app by clicking the add device. There's a little add button at the top of the, uh, the app on the right hand corner to add that device to add the lock there. Okay, as far as pairing the lock with the app goes, you want to turn on the Bluetooth on your smartphone and stay near the lock within three meters. So I was too far away. I was having trouble getting it connected. You do need to be within three meters. And then you click on the add device on the app and then on the front, you touch the fingerprint reader of the light of the lock to light it up and then click add. And it'll, it'll, you'll know it right away. So if it's taken like almost two minutes, you're probably doing something wrong. And this is pretty cool. You can actually, Push this button here to lock and unlock it just from your app. And if you want to share access permission with other people in your family, in your house, you want to add new members, you want to touch the member on the app and then click the plus at the top right to, uh, to name the, the member there. 
uh, you want to add your fingerprint. So touch the member on the app and click the member you want to add a fingerprint. And place the finger on the fingerprint reader as prompted by the app. So just follow the directions there and be good to go. All right, when you're prompted to do so, you'll have your thumb on there and it'll read it. You'll have to go like this when you're setting it up. But you can see it works really good. And you got full functionality back here as well. Well, this is also nice. So with the app, you can uh, unlock the, uh, you can see the unlock record. So you can see how many times the door has been unlocked and by who, etc. It's got the option of uh, remote unlock via Wi-Fi. You can set it to auto lock mode. So normally after you unlock your door, you need to manually lock it again, but just turn on the auto lock function when you unlock the door and it'll automatically lock after a few seconds. So you want to do the settings and then find the auto lock and turn the auto lock function and set the auto locking time. And if you want to keep your door unlocked, you can turn on the passage mode function. This function needs to be unlocked one time to activate the setting every day in case protecting your security system of your home. And you can also manually set the opening direction of the lock. Well, this, this will also allow you to manage multiple locks too. You put a bunch of them on your house, you can operate them all individually. Okay, as far as using the lock, you can use fingerprint, you can use a smartphone, you can use the mechanical key, and you can use the interior thumb turn. It comes with a couple keys here as well. This is really nice. See the door won't open up at all. Push that button. Now it's open. Same for locking it. Now it's locked. This thing is cool. And let's just say for whatever reason your uh, batteries are out, something's malfunctioning, it's not reading your thumbprint, maybe you have a bandage over your thumb, can't get in, but you always have the key option here. There we go. Same thing for locking it up. Just the other way. Hey you guys, overall, just want to say we really like this smart lock. And thanks for watching.